point I arrived here, probably about 10 a.m. right the way through until four this morning, and time to get going again. Got a 50 mile leg down to Middlefart, where I'm going to be putting into a marina for a few days, and <laughs> it's a little bit grey and misty this morning. Had rain on and off since I woke up. So looking forward to getting wet today. However, it's quite mild. Reasonably mild for this time of the morning. And well, at least I've had a decent sleep. I might have had a bit too much coffee this morning. <laughs> going on. Anyway, time to get the sail up and then put the engine on, get the anchor up and get moving. Something very satisfying about sailing off anchor. I know I have to have the engine on for the windlass to work, um, so the engine was on for 60 seconds or so while they uh, pulled the anchor up. We didn't use it to drive the boat. Just put the mainsail up. Let the mainsail give a little bit of drive because the wind was light. So the boat was driving forwards ever so slowly. Helping me get the anchor up. And then the second the anchor's off the bottom of course. The boat turns away from shore quite naturally. As the wind pushes the boat round. Let the sail out because we're on a broad reach and off we go. Pull the genera out and away. It's beautiful. So satisfying. Should do that more often. Six hours in, roughly halfway. Should arrive between 5 and 6.30. Probably more like 6.30. I've had to put the genera away. It was flapping around too much. So we've lost about a knot in speed. Not a huge loss, um, given the peace and quiet now. But it's starting to get busier. There are lots of chats going on on Channel 16 between various ships and yachts, arranging who's going to get out of whose way. And it's getting to the point where I'm having to keep a, a constant watch near enough. I'm having a quiet period at the moment, but uh, it's been lots of traffic coming in here. And the rain has held off. The sun's even come out a couple of times, which is lovely. A very pleasant sail.
beautiful spot to anchor a lot here. Plenty of boats anchored. Looks amazing. That cottage could be in the English countryside somewhere. <laughs> And there's our destination, Middle Farts Marina. Stop it, just stop it. I know you're thinking it. No, it's not funny. Unbelievable. That's our anchorage over there. Sailed up anchor this morning. Very satisfying, especially with an audience. <laughs> the wind's very light. We've only got three knots of wind, so we're uh, not exactly flying along. Just put a tack in because we were getting a bit close to those are um, fishing nets out there. Need to move further out and then tack over to uh, go past them. There's more fishing nets over there. Had an absolutely fantastic weekend at Middlefart. Spent the weekend with a couple of old friends and their children. I haven't seen them in years, so it was really nice to catch up. Nice to be on the move again though. Today is a special day because I don't have a plan. I'm just seeing what the wind does, seeing where I end up. I've got about 80 miles to do down to Kiel probably going to do that over three legs depends on the wind just gonna find some random place to anchor and I'm sure I'll find a jewel maybe two feels so good to be sailing without a plan again and the weather is amazing it's lovely and warm gentle breeze we're doing three knots and no waves of any kind every now and then in fact um, where I was anchored last night there are loads of harbour pole pushes around and little sods to catch on camera because of course every time you see them you pick up the camera and switch it on and, uh, and they're gone so I've got loads and loads of footage with nothing in it but that's porpoise for you. It's nice to see some marine wildlife. Really nice to see them. There's so many of them here. It's amazing. The 
going through this little gap here between the islands. The wind's been on and off all day, mostly off. So it's taken quite a while to get to where we are. I think we've done about 20 miles so far and it's half past two in the afternoon. So roughly another seven miles to go and uh, there's a little bay there that I'm going to drop the anchor. Can't complain about the wind being fluky today. It's, it's actually switched direction a few times by as much as 180 degrees. So uh, it's been a challenge keeping the boat moving. But it's been good fun. I've enjoyed it so far. Well, that was exciting. Having had, had no wind or very gentle winds all day, uh, as I was coming through the gap there, the wind got up to over 20 knots and I was a little bit overpowered. <laughs> it made for a thrilling ride, that's for sure. Uh, it seems to have um, died off a little bit now we're uh, out the other side. Weird. I've selected an anchorage for the night, it's about six miles away, just around the corner here there's a little bay and uh, I'm going to tuck myself in, shelter from the westerly. Don't know what it's like, I'll find out. In the time honoured tradition of changing one's mind, the wind is currently blowing from the southwest. It's not supposed to, but that's what it's doing here. So I've decided instead to go keep going round the outside and um, put myself in a completely different spot. But uh, it gives me a, a shorter leg for the next leg and some shelter from the southwest. It's not completely ideal because it will be open to swell from any passing shipping but I'll just have to suck that up and live with it. Also means I can come off the wind a little bit which will be nice given that it's still blowing 16, 18 knots. Five miles away going to pick a nice looking spot along the coastline here, drop the hook, make some dinner. The wind has swung round from the southwest to the west so it's on the beam now, nice gentle ride. And we're away. Very peaceful night's sleep. Didn't notice any wake from any plastic shipping, so that's all good. One slight problem with the anchorage, well, it's not technically an anchorage, it's just a beach. Um, quite a bit of uh, construction work going on, so it was a bit noisy this morning. That's a bit away to get some uh, peace and quiet. However, Sailed up anchor again this morning. 
getting quite good at that now. Really enjoy it. Much more satisfying than uh, motoring along. Right, let's get the boat sorted out. I've got to avoid some shallows in the area, so I just need to watch my course for a little while. And then we've got 17-ish miles to do today. Not very far. Should be, hopefully, a pleasant sail. This cloud doesn't turn into rain, that is. What an awesome day for sailing. 15 knots on the beam, cracking along at seven knots and uh, loads of boats out here. Halfway and the rain has arrived. And I'm in my oilies. Hopefully it doesn't last long. The wind seems to have gone away a little bit with the rain as well. It's only doing five knots now. Well, the rain has stopped. But it's taken the bloody wind away with it. We're doing one and a half knots now. Five miles to go. Saints preservers. Listen to that creaking. We're just bouncing around on the wind waves. Definitely need a new outhaul. That's what's creaking. And look at that. The wind's come back, but from directly behind us. Okay. We'll do that then. I think I'll set this one out. After a couple of hours of doing less than half a knot, I've had enough decided to motor the last three miles before that belt of rain gets in. Hopefully I can get the anchor down before I get soaked. And the other half a dozen boats that were out here dotted around me all had the same idea around the same time. 